Hello, and welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod. Yeah, it looks like the ninth anniversary login rewards have slowed down to... Well, you see it here. I mean, I know it's only a four-day gap before things, but usually the anniversary rewards are like all like one day after another, and it only stops well when they stop celebrating it. So, it kind of makes sense, because now the season's over, too. You know, like, if you pay attention to your Versus season, it's gone. It's, it's no more. So, okay. Now we start the low, slow, the, dips, <laughs> the slow, long crawl towards the 10th anniversary. I mean, what would I be if I wasn't a Marvel Puzzle Quest player if I didn't think long term, right? That's kind of what the name of the game is here. So... What are we here for today? We're here to look at the Crash of the Titans because it's gonna expire soon. I'm always like late to these things, aren't I? Maybe not late, maybe that's the word for it. Um, hmm, uh, procrastinate until last minute. Maybe that's how it is. Anyways, let's see. Oh, by the way, I learned something today. Uh, just to hit back on this, you know, Arcade, he's, you know, probably not the most awesome character we've seen released in a while but i learned something about him and not just him but well trap tiles in general um what are the biggest deals right now in pvp is uh mighty thor right not gonna argue with me on that one right i hope not mighty thor is pretty darn amazing yeah i'm scrolling through for obvious reasons there she is <clears throat> So this whole Mighty Thor thing, she does that whole passive hit of everything. Uh, this Dr. Thor passive, right? Um, it's pretty awesome, right? Did you know it doesn't hit traps? Nope. It hits strikes, attacks, protects, countdowns, repeaters, um, invisible. It hits any sort of tile that's visible doesn't hit traps so I tried it out today I tried out to learn this I tried Mighty Thor with Arcade and Mr. Sinister because you know I wanted to really put it through its you know paces and it worked like of course sometimes collateral damage you know killed some of the traps but most often uh, she would be destroying basic tiles causing cascades to fall into those traps for my benefit so, I'm not saying it's great that it's going to break the meta or anything, but, um, I don't know. I think we have alternative use here. So, Mighty Thor, you're, what's that weird nerd? You're saying Mighty Thor doesn't hit Chasm's Abyss tiles over any basic tile? Ooh, that's annoying. I mean, I guess that's good for their team up, but man, it just solidifies that Mighty Thor and, well, I should say that Mighty Thor is Chasm's best friend. Hmm. That's a little annoying. But anyway, my reason of bringing up traps tiles into it is just um, traps are seem to be one of the worst metas to play in the game because they're so weak. They, they could be overwritten and struck down by anything. Well, not anything. Mighty Thor can't hit them. And uh, most of the good traps nowadays, like arcades, like Sinisters, like Gertrude, um, those trap tiles can be matched by, well, anyone. So, so it's pretty handy in those regards. If you wanted to use for arcade, that's my thoughts. Um, it's an alternative thought. Anyways, here we go. Deadpool Daily, Crash the Titans. Let's get this out of the way because, well, we only got so many hours left in the day before the new one kicks in, right? We're going against, wow, a really weak three-star Hulk. Um, well, let's get into what we usually do with these Crash Designs. First off, we're just to describe the, our victim. Uh, three-star Hulk at a 1-1-1, one, 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 he's definitely underpowered. Um, when three-star Hulk hit the scene back in the day, he came in with his own PVE. It was literally called The Hulk. And it was a thing where um, Norman Osborn and his cronies were chasing the Hulk around. And the Hulk was running away from the Avengers, too. Um, 
then it was a, a seven-day storyline we don't see those anymore in this game but it was a seven-day storyline all kinds of different stories um stages nodes pins etc to, to go through and it was the avengers trying to chase down the hulk and convince them that hey um yeah we're not really as bad as you thought we were come on join us and then now norman osborne has got you know yelena and moonstone and deck and others trying to convince him hey come on join us we, you know we've got free beer and whatnot um so you know eventually you all know how it ends but um it was a fun little story to, to introduce the hulk to the game he wasn't a starter for this game he was created this way he had his own story and everything um how do you play him well lots of green his green takes 10 and it shakes the whole screen and you get a lot of cascade fun out of it. His red, I wouldn't use it. it. Costs like 14 or something like that. It's called Smash, and it's unfortunately it does damage back to you if there's like 10 or more green tiles on the board. Like that's just not good. But his shining uh, star of an ability, if you really can think about how to use it, is that black. It's a passive, and it's actually one of the earlier passives in a game. One of few uh, called Anger. Um, and if he takes 5% or more damage, 5% of his like max health, mind you, um, he does a little bit of damage, just a hair amount of damage to the enemy team, uh, um, at, uh, at rank five in it. And I'm saying rank five because that's the important one here. Uh, he also does a little hair amount of damage back to your, uh, your own team as well, unfortunately. But it creates five green tiles on the board, does this little bit of damage to the enemies. And why is that important? Because there's so many ways you can you can abuse that. Um, it does it by making countdowns. So you get a countdown on the board, and once that countdown hits zero, it's just a one-turn countdown, right? So you take the hit, one-turn countdown, it goes to your turn, countdown goes to zero, five new green tiles on the board, damage to the enemy team damage to your own team but it's like tiny damage so don't worry about that um you know who uses countdowns so much um captain marvel captain marvel takes any sort of strike tile um yeah well strike attack protect and improves it drastically when a countdown hits zero um do you know that if you have three star dakin out there with you that Dakin loves to make strike tiles when green tiles are matched. Do you know Hulk just put five more green tiles on the field randomly? <laughs> Do you see where I'm going? If you can keep Hulk in front and keep him tanking, put Dakin out there as well and four-star Captain Marvel, put her yellow up as high as you can. Every chance you get, keep Hulk in front. You'll have a team that'll be doing thousands of damage to the enemy team for each one of those hangers uh, angers that goes off because strikes are being made off the green hits captain marvel's buffing them and then the next anger hits it does more damage and more damage and more and just keep hulk in front it's a really fun combo it's overlooked a lot but it's only good for three star and and maybe low end four star rosters ah, i just miss doing that one anyways what was that weird nerd? I'm sorry, I missed this over here. Hulk bombing with patch is a lot of fun in three star land. Yeah, it is. You know, you know, it's a it's a better use of green than Hulk's green. Um, I wouldn't use Hulk's green in most cases, but unless you really need to like throw the dice and hopefully kill a few tiles, uh, or maybe to end a fight. But anyways, that's just me talking about the Hulk here. At least three star Hulk. His anger is really good. Think of ways to abuse it, and they're there. You can do so many things with it. You just got to think a little bit. Anyways, moving on. We're going to go against him with Red Hulk, Thunderbolt Ross. <sighs> he came onto the scene and, and back in Four Star Land way long ago. He wasn't that early to the game, but, you know, he's definitely early by today's standards. Um, he came in with this passive, Seeing Red. So when he gets hit for so much damage, not a percent, just so much damage, he creates a one-turn red countdown, destroys... Uh, amount of random basic tiles doesn't generate AP does just the damage for just those tiles and that's it it's okay it's a little bit of board shake but once again you're making one turn red countdowns once again Captain Marvel is his friend I'm just giving advice here 
uh, put them like four star rocket, red Hulk, Captain Marvel. You have seven strikes on the field. You're going to lose a couple due to cascades. It's just the nature of the game. However, Captain Marvel is going to keep buffing your strikes for each one of these. As long as you keep red Hulk in front. Hmm. It's mm, chef's kiss. Anyways. Um, but you see, I have it at, only have it at three because the other two powers are actually pretty darn decent. Hammer and Anvil costs 9, does like almost 5k damage and 18 damage. But if you get up to 18 for some reason, if you're saving all that, it does like almost 3 times the damage. It's pretty good. Now, why would you get to 18? Because it's purple. Gamma Siphon. Only takes 7 purple. And I'm sure you could think of lots of ways to make purple in this game. Destroy all enemy green AP and generate seven green for the friendly team. So it's a, it's a trade. Seven purple, seven green. It's a nice way to get more green. Now, it says drain enemy green to generate seven of your own. You don't have to have any enemy green. They can have zero and you can still use this. Don't, don't think of it like a stealing mechanic. It's not. Um, it's literally just you get zero green now and I get seven more. Just as simple as that. Um, it's pretty darn good. Um, it's uh, probably his best ability to be quite honest. Um, just for making green AP, it's a seven for seven trade, but, um, I think seeing red is something that people overlook quite often because it is one turn countdowns and you can make so much out of that. You can, anybody who says does something when a countdown hits zero, red Hulk is something that you can definitely abuse. Thing is, he has to take the damage to do it, so you have to keep him in front. He is someone that you use if you're in four-star territory. You're probably not going to use him and see it five-star territory, unfortunately. So, anyways, much like how I just said three-star Hulk with Dak, three-star Dakin, and four-star Marvel was a good team. The count, the other option here is four-star Red Hulk, four-star Rocket, and four-star Marvel. Same thing, just a different flavor. Anyways, without further ado, we're going to run on in here and see how much damage we can do Hulk versus Hulk. It's a, by the way, it is a one-on-one -on -one fight, so we're going to turn on the character effects. It's a shame I can't use any of those combos anymore. <clears throat> the bad thing about like getting a better roster over time, something that people don't talk about too much, is you just can't have fun like you used to. I can't use 4-star Marvel, 3-star Hulk, 3-star Dakin now. Do you know what my opponents are like in PvP and in PvE? A lot stronger than that. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> I'm beyond that, unfortunately. You see how he like made that green because I hit him so hard? That's actually going to be to his detriment here because we want all the green. We're going to definitely hammer and anvil him up as hard as we can. So he's got three green right now. <clears throat> I could cast this and get enough to use hammer and anvil right now. But meh, do I really need to right now? I'll wait. We can wait to see if we can get like up to where we get the 18 mark. Because why not? It's fun. Which really just means if we get enough purple or green, we could just create the green that we need. Um, there's really nothing here for me though, so I'm just gonna make some red matches. Um, no greens, no purples, okay. He's almost gonna Hulk smash me, which just for your own information, He's, remember, he's like level 1 in these abilities, so it's not going to do that much damage. But still, 2,355 plus damage for each green out there. 30% of the damage to his allies, which he has none. Um, if there's like so many tiles out there, but we're not worried about that. I want that purple. And he's going to take it, isn't he? If I match this, let's see. Let's see what he does. Oh, he didn't. Oh, because there was a four in the way. Good. Oh, now do I take the purple? Or do I take the green that's there? We take the green. Because he shouldn't match the purple. Yeah, there you go. You can take another four. Hmm. 
Now remember, we need 18 to get the full effect out of this. Now we have 11 right now. So, and because this purple costs only seven, we're gonna get seven green. So do the math with me, 11 green plus seven. Yay! So we're gonna do this. Leap at him, Hulk up a little bit. And then we're gonna say goodnight to Hulk. Hammer and anvil, bye bye. Uh, just so you know, the animation doesn't change whether you have eight. I am whether you have nine or eighteen. It's the same animation either way. So we didn't really miss out on anything there, but figured I'd let you know just in case you were wondering. And that is the Red Hulk's Crash the Titans. Yeah, it's not too exciting, Hulk versus Hulk. You're just kind of fighting for green AP and hoping to get it before the other one does. But Red Hulk is definitely has the upper hand since he can. Use his Gamma Siphon and uh, get rid of what he's got over there. So, that's that. And we don't got too much else on the horizon right now. I'm thinking, since Anniversary uh, just ended here, that we're probably going to see um, uh, Frost in the, in the Legendary stores really soon. Because you know, we've been kind of sitting with these three for a little bit now. We'll see Frost probably hit the store soon. And um, <clears throat> do a little in-between season action. Um, I think then we have one more run of Arcade's boss event coming up too. I'm pretty sure. You know, I think it's this upcoming weekend. I could be wrong, but don't quote me on it. We'll see. Anyways, thanks very much for joining Weird Nerd. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys real soon with more content. I promise. Talk to y'all later. Bye.